Our next recipe is one that you can use for a main meal, uh, either for a lunch or for an evening uh, meal, and they are tofu patties. I like to use legume products. I like to use legumes too, but legume products as well. And tofu is one of these products that's made from legumes and it's actually made from soya beans. And we're going to use that today. As I've mentioned before, tofu is very nutritious, but it doesn't have any flavour. And so we're going to have to put some flavours into our mixture so that the patties are really nice and tasty. I'm going to use a food processor, but you can also mash the tofu and you can cut your onion very finely and then just put everything together. You'll notice that this recipe, as compared to other patty type recipes, do not contain any eggs. Uh, it's really just grains, nuts, tofu and a little soy sauce. So let's put the ingredients in the processor. I'm going to put the tofu in first. I've just cut it. I use a firm tofu. You can use a softer one if you want to. You may find that you'll need to put a few more uh, oats in there to take up that moisture that's going to be created. And so the tofu goes in. And also some pecan nuts as well as some onion and I've just coarsely chopped the onion because the food processor is going to process it and a clove of garlic and that will also be processed as well. So we'll turn on the machine. It actually doesn't take very long at all and when you're able to look through the lid of your food processor you'll notice that you'll find that the ingredients start to clump a little so they're not just spinning around as they do at first they just sort of become uh, a little more uh, clumpy if that's the right word so we'll take it out of here and we'll put it into a bowl You'll see that everything has been ground up nicely, not too fine. You've still got pieces of uh, nut there as well as pieces of uh, onion. Okay, for flavour we're going to add some soy sauce. And we're also going to add some quick oats. And the reason that I'm using quick oats is because it absorbs the moisture more quickly. The, the rolled oat has just been cut a little more and so there's more starch exposed which will take the moisture in very quickly. So we'll put that in there and we'll mix all that together. And that's about all you need to do. So it's a very, another very quick and easy recipe. And these are particularly nice served with um, a sauce of some kind and plum sauce is particularly nice with these. So you can serve them with a salad, you can serve them on a bun with salad or as a main meal with your vegetables. And so it's a recipe that can be used in many ways. I've made them into balls and I will show you uh, how to do that. But you can also have them in patties. What do you do with this recipe at home? Do you make these, Jade? I would make these into patties. Yes. Because the kids would love this. Yes. It's good for lunches. Yes. You can put it in your um, rolls, bread rolls. And, uh, Excellent. It's very easy to make for busy families, especially with young children. Yes, yes. And the beauty is that you can freeze these. And so you can actually make a batch and then freeze them so you can have them at another time. Good for picnics and they're nice cold as well as hot where normally we would serve them hot but they're nice cold as well aren't they? Okay so you just pick some of this mixture up when you first see it you say well however you're going to make patties out of that but you need to squeeze it together and you'll find that it holds together beautifully. Now if you are using the regular rolled oats and that's fine you would need to let this mixture stand for about 10 minutes so that those oats have an opportunity and time to absorb the moisture that's there. And so on a tray that you've that you have sprayed with a little bit of oil or you've put some baking paper on uh, just pop them on there. We'll just do one more. Squeeze them and you'll notice as soon as you do 
you'll find that they hold together very nicely. And you can make them in different shapes, can't you? That's right. And so we could also make them into flat hamburger type patties. And you may wonder why I'm putting them on an oven tray. We actually don't fry these. We bake them in the oven. And uh, that helps with the, the fat content, doesn't it? We haven't got as much fat there. So you can make them into whatever shape you like. If you make them into just small little balls, you can have them as a, an entree, something that you may want to serve before the meal or just as finger food. And so there's lots that you can do with, with this recipe. Would you like to get the finished product so that people can see? And we bake these, bake this in the oven. We bake these in the oven. We're going to put these in the oven now. And the finished product is there. There's the the little balls in the middle there, just with a little garnish of salad, and they are very tasty. If you want to increase the flavour, which some people may enjoy, then add some more garlic. Add some more garlic. Um, and you can also uh, put in a few extra herbs like basil, uh, what, just the flavours that you enjoy. So don't feel that you're limited by what we have done. You can actually add extra flavours and textures as, as you would like to.